I can't believe that. I actually can't believe that. Genuinely in shock after that disgusting, disgusting performance today. Straight back to reality. Straight back to reality. I remember I said this on the back again, Paul. This would be typical Chelsea for me to celebrate such a resilient end to the game against Manchester United. Just to go and do this. Just to go and do this to Sheffield United. I told them, I said, I dare you. I dare you. And you know what they said? They said, cool. I'll take you up on that there. I'll take you up on that there. Here you are. A 2-2 draw to the bottom of the league. The bottom two teams in the league, right? And we have dropped four points. We've dropped four points. I actually feel like I'm done talking about Europe. I'm done talking about Europe because why do we deserve it? Why do we deserve it, first of all? We we spent three months looking for a manager and then we end with this piece of crap. We have many opportunities to sack him, which would be completely fair and just. Manchester United away, Everton away, Wolves away, Wolves at home, Liverpool away, Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. All just off the top of my head. But hey, we're unbeaten in our last, what, six, seven games? Trust the process. Believe in the manager. He's cooking. He's cooking. Potch has a plan. Trust the process. All these crap buzzwords. We're now scoring. We're now scoring. It's not like we actually have a bunch of forwards who want to be here anymore and we have better forwards than we did last season. All this copium. Well, I wonder what you're sniffing today after that game. Every single Poch defender, I really want to know how you defend that. How do you defend that? Because I, I could talk about the individuals, but Barco Palmer and Petrovic, everybody else is victim of the structure. Everybody else. That, that lineup, just killed the balance for our team from the start. And that's why we look so disjointed. That's why we could barely make anything. We had Conor Gallagher playing on the wing. Why? Why? Why, why have we taken Mudrick out? Why couldn't Sterling have started there? Why couldn't a winger play at wing? Because we know Conor Gallagher... We know he's not going to stay in his natural position. Well, the position that he's meant to be playing in. So what that, ha what that means is that Cucurella now has to do all the defending and all of the attacking on the left-hand side. He's basically our left winger. This is why we struggled defending from that side. Madueki left completely isolated, partly because we didn't have a right back. That I will understand but also because there was no balance. Because your left winger is in the midfield, or he's just anywhere around the pitch, around the DM position, around the attacking mid, anywhere in the half spaces. It makes it easier to focus more players onto Madueke. It makes it easier to focus more players onto Jackson, also because you've put Cole Palmer in the middle for no reason. Cole Palmer likes to drop deep and get involved with the ball, especially when he's not receiving it a lot. So when that happens, all the centre-backs just have to focus on Jackson. Anytime he receives the ball, 3v1. Anytime. And there is why our attack looked so toothless. Because it was the structure. The structure was pathetic. Now, Palmer didn't have a good game. Got an assist, but he didn't have a good game. Individually, that's on him. The decision-making wasn't good. But in terms of the link-up with Nicholas Jackson, non-existent because he had to drop deep all the time. Had to. Defensively, I already know we're a mess defensively. The first goal it is kind of more on Petrovic, of anything. There isn't your near post. You do need to do a little bit better on that. But they had more shots than us in the first half. They had a high XG throughout the game. Throughout the game. More shots... Wait, where is the stats as well? They had more shots. They had a higher XG. 
Um, more jewels won, more big chances created, more shots inside the box. They're bottom of the table. They're bottom of the table. Meanwhile, our manager just throws everybody under the bus. Says maybe this group isn't mature enough to compete in games every three days. Maybe you're not mature enough to do it because your tactics are so inconsistent. We threw Cassidy and Badia Shield on for a set piece in the last minute, and they were unaware. They didn't know who to mark. They didn't know what to do. Because you just threw them on for a set piece. Why? You, ha you have defenders there who know who they're marking. They know what positions to cover. And then you go and throw two other players into the mix who don't know what they're doing. Like Scott said, they're not in the game state yet. And yet you throw them in. Just like that. Dumb game management again. Matuwaki, as soon as he gets a goal, we take him off and throw Gallagher right wing. Why? Why? It's Sheffield United. Why are we going defensive at 2-1 up against a team bottom of the table? Like, what are we doing? It genuinely baffles me sometimes the the stuff that the stuff that we do, the way we make things so difficult for ourselves. And I knew we would do. It. I knew we would do it in this game. I knew we would. Couldn't even beat the bottom two in the table. The lack of coaching is genuinely insane with this team. First off, I saw Enzo having to tell players where to run to consistently. Yet you want to tell me these players are coached going forward? All these players get told to do is run. Run, 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 and that's it. This manager just got the job off, off the back of crap directors who spent months looking for the next manager to lead this young, inexperienced team. They went and brought him based off his washed, expired CV from Tottenham back in 2016, like that counts for anything in 2024. And they've let him stay here too. Many opportunities to sack him and they have kept him in the job. You're all culpable. Igbali, Win Stanley, Stewart, Pochettino, all of you. You're the reason why this club is where it is. And it's up to the three of you. Well, Igbali, um, Stewart and Win Stanley need to dip. First of all, they need to dip. Heads have to roll because of the way we have fumbled this season. But Poch, Poch cannot be here next season. He cannot. I don't care what he does. I don't care if we go unbeaten until the end of the season. He needs to leave. He needs to be gone. We need a fresh start. Because he, we will be in the exact same position next season if this guy is still in charge. The exact same. So it's up to you whether you want to act or not. It's completely up to you. But for me... Europe's done, in my opinion. If you can't even beat the top, the bottom two in the league, forget it. Forget it. Forget it. What's the point? What's the point of getting hyped up? What's the point of trying to believe? What's the point? It's, it's, just, it's pathetic. It's absolutely pathetic. Big up to everybody. Potch out. Like, subscribe. Up the Chelsea.